When he's finished with this last point, run the bumper and drop LinkedIn and Twitter. There's a viewer on YouTube that wants the client's link. Respond directly to her with that information. The graphic designer finished the overlays. So go ahead and log in to the client's account um, and add them to his brand tab. Clean feed recording of today's guest is ready for the video team to edit and post on socials. Go for it. The client is out next week, so let's schedule a previous show for broadcast. How's he doing there? <laughs> Did you know StreamYard could do all those things? I mean, all of those features, all of those functions? Listen, I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at five, count them, five StreamYard features you should be using. Let's dive in. So here we are in StreamYard. I'm already in the studio, already have my camera and my laptop camera added in so that we can kind of demo a couple of these features. The first feature I want to show you is being able to respond directly to comments on the individual platforms. Uh, this, this feature has been here for a while, but I do not see enough people use this. Most people that come into the studio, as, as you can see it here, uh, right down here at the bottom, when they're ready to respond, they just go ahead and type a comment. And when they respond like that, they don't even realize that this is saying all. That says all, y'all. <laughs> so you're actually responding to all the platforms. And you can see here that that response went to YouTube and to how it all works. That is counterproductive if the question that was asked was from somebody on YouTube. So if I want to respond to whoever's on YouTube or whoever's on on Facebook, let's say on my 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 page here, you can respond to any page or um, or YouTube platform, but you cannot respond to groups. Um, and I don't believe you can respond to social profiles, but you can come here and actually select. Let's say we select how it all works and actually say. Right. So now I'm, I'm actually able to respond directly and that just gives a different touch, a different feel. It, it creates more engagement for your viewers, letting them know, oh, they can actually respond directly back to me. Of course, I can do the same here. If I come back in, go to uh, the arrow again and just select YouTube this time. And in this case, we can say. And that goes to the folks on YouTube. Maybe you want to post a link. Maybe you want your moderators to pin that link. You can do that in the studio and then allow them to do their work on the different platforms where they are. So that is feature number one. Feature number two, notice this broadcast, even though we're in test, is actually live. And so we're live right now. And feature number two is that you can start and stop destinations in the middle of your stream. And so I can actually come here right to the top where it says edit. Uh, you notice that all three destinations are here and they are have green check marks on them. That denotes that we're streaming live to those destinations right now. In fact, you can see that it says and broadcast right over here. If I come here and click on edit, all of my destinations that I've already added to StreamYard are here. The three that I'm currently streaming to are all here as well. If I simply go to YouTube, go right here where you can see YouTube is selected. There's a blue circle around that. I'm going to highlight that real quick. All I need to do is click that. Once I click it, it will uh, give me the option saying, hey, a post was created. Do you want to delete it? First of all, right at the top, it says in bold letters, remove this destination from broadcast with a question mark. And that is exactly what I want to do. Um, I can just select this saying delete on YouTube and click to remove that broadcast and away it goes. It's no longer streaming to that destination. I'm still live, but that destination has been ended, right? That stream on that on YouTube is no more happening. So that's pretty cool. And again, I still have two more destinations here. One being a Facebook page, the other being a Facebook group. Let's say I want to end on that Facebook page. Notice it has that blue circle around it. I simply click it 
check the box that says whether or not I want to delete on Facebook. It's totally up to you. Maybe you want to leave that video out there for people to catch the replay. But the content that I'm going to use from this point going forward is content I only want in my group. So come here, do that, click remove and away it goes. Uh, sometimes this could be used for your masterminds, for coaching scenarios, so many different ways that you might have public content that you're using as discovery, uh, using as, as, as ways for people to, to know what you are and what you have to provide. And then of course, create that FOMO like, okay, we're cutting off now. And this is the rest of this content is just going to be for my group. And folks are going to ask themselves, how do I get in? So you want to be using that feature in your content. Feature number three is team member seats. Let's take a look at that right now. So here we are back on the dashboard and we can see all the different things that we normally see when we get here. If we go to where it says members. Now you can go to team settings, but that's going to give you some other functionality and other features. But if you go to members, you'll notice that this is the place where you can actually come in and add members to your team. You can set their roles to admin or co-host, and there are some differences between those. Um, but one of the things that happened when this feature first was released is that we were able to set up one additional team member. One additional team member came with the plan. Uh, to be clear, the basic plan has two seats, which one includes you, the other can be somebody you're adding to your team, and the pro plan includes four seats. One is you, and then you have three people that you can add to your team. Currently on this particular account, I don't have anybody added, so notice I have three more seats available to add to my team. Fam, if you're on either the basic or pro plan, do not miss out on this opportunity. This is a feature you should be using. Add team members that will enable them to be able to add assets to your StreamYard brand tab. It will be able to allow them to help you manage comments welcome people as they come into the, the backstage in the private chat. It will help it'll allow you to have other people in your team that are helping you with your live stream. And trust me, that not only allows you as the host to deliver value, but it also allows you to spread that responsibility across a number of shoulders. This is feature number three, and it is definitely one that you should be using. The next feature that I wanna highlight is local ISO recording, local ISO recording. If we go back to broadcast uh, here, we can go to create and we can select recording. And here you have the ability, the option to have local recording, Re record locally each participant, and then you can record audio and video. I can't tell you how many accounts I go into where people still have this turned off. They simply have this unchecked, whether they're doing a broadcast, whether they're doing a live show, it doesn't matter. They have this turned off. Now, the only limitation that you want to keep in mind here is that it does require recording storage. So you do want to keep an eye on your storage when you are selecting local ISO recording. But what this enables you to have is it opens up the opportunity to have not only a full video. So here we got you've got your original recording. Let's go, let's go back out and, and get to another one. So here we have the full recording on top. I'm gonna pause this. We have your full recording, original recording, and that's gonna have your overlays, your banners, your lower thirds, your comments, whatever the broadcast looked like when you were live, your original recording will be here. But that local ISO recording is gonna give you a recording of your, your camera by itself, along with your guest's camera, by itself and it will give you your guests camera locally locally recorded to their system and then uploaded with full video quality that you can take and repurpose that is a game changer being able to pull out clips from your live show you may have said something that was absolutely brilliant like absolutely genius you want to pull that out of your live show without the comments without may maybe something was on screen when it was said maybe something happened you can re pull out that clip 
from a clean video if you enable local ISO recordings. Fam, make sure your video storage is right. And if it is, just enable local recording on your live streams and your local uh, uh, recordings that you're doing with StreamYard. To be clear, it's both audio and video. So you can also use this for podcasts as well. That's feature number four. And our final feature is feature number five, stream pre-recorded videos. And, and, and to be clear, I want to go back to our broadcast tab and click on create. You can click on live stream and it immediately asks you, do you want to pre uh, stream pre-recorded video? Now, most people think I'm going to need to upload a video. You can select a recording. Uh, sorry, you can hit this plus sign here to 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 upload. So we can select this recording. You can hit this add file to upload a, a recording here. And most people, that's where they get stuck. Well, I don't want to upload a video. Um, and to be clear, you you have one hour for the basic plan, two hours for the pro plan. And you can do five at a time, regardless of which plan you're on. Think about that for a second. Five. You can you can schedule five videos to stream on whatever destinations you want, and that could be a game changer, especially for especially for my coaches, authors, consultants. You're using StreamYard. You haven't tapped into the power of this feature. Trust me, trust me, trust me. If you got your your your, your mastermind groups, you've you've got all these different platforms. You could be using this to schedule content for those groups, and and here's the real clincher. Yes, you can upload broadcasts, but you can use StreamYard to record, right? Let's go back out one. You can use StreamYard to record your, your broadcast or whatever it is you wanna to say to your audience, record it with StreamYard, and then simply come back here, go to live stream, click on pre-recorded, select recording, and now go to past broadcasts every broadcast that you have streamed is now available to you to be able to stream to your destinations of course keep in mind there is a limitation one hour on the basic plan two hours on the pro plan so as long as you're recording your past broadcast or past recordings are underneath that limit for whatever plan you have you could come here select that de determine which platforms you want that to stream to set your date and time and away it goes these are features that i see so many times people do not take advantage of they don't leverage in fact they're looking for other platforms and tools to be able to get the same thing accomplished and i wanted to make sure you were able to see these for yourself the scenarios we started this video with represent how these features can be used think about it thinking for paid and free content you can set up a facebook group and page stream to both and then when the free content is done simply remove that destination mind blown <laughs> you can batch record paid content for your mastermind group using local recording and then turn around and schedule them out over five weeks completely hands off you can delegate streaming tasks to your team members like to your virtual assistant man even to your nephew nephew uh. like i wasn't kidding y'all these are features you should be using and if you want to hear more Streamyard insights you've got some more insight be sure to subscribe and also check out a few of these videos.